Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Hey, Popeye. Straight from Atlanta. I watch you every single day. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Papai News Links. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. In this video, we are gonna drive and talk. We are at Galloway in the parish of Westmoreland. We are heading towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey with me. Now, on Monday morning, February 12th, about some minutes after. 8 o'clock, that man on your screen, his name is Joshua Michael Levy. He was shot and killed at the Lucy police station by a police officer. The police, they are alleging that Michael attacked them with a machete. I've covered the story a few times already, but in this video, I'm going to be talking with one of Joshua's sister. She's saying that her brother was murdered by the police remember to hit on the love button from now also share the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel hit on the subscribe button also drop your comments in the comment section below listen this hello yes ma'am good afternoon how you do Good afternoon, Mr. Papa. It's Hi, Hannah Levy calling you from Lucy. Yes, ma'am. I was trying to get you, but I was so busy. My brother Joshua Levy yes, was murdered by the Lucy police. Yes, ma'am. But he had a little mental issue. He was schizophrenic. Yes. He was working with Bob Marley as a press recorder. As a what? He was working with who? Bob Marley? Yes, as a music manufacturer, as a press first producer, press producer record. But he was injured at his workplace of almost twenty years. So he came back home from Kingston, mental ill. But he was born in Lucy Town, Miller Drive. Normally he got a pension that is called invalid pension. So each month on a Monday he would go to the to the post office for the pension. But when the pension week came he was met first. He checked up at the post office a few days before. So the pension was to be collected on the 16th of February 2020. But normally the post missus then knew him. So he would always go and check and then he collected. But sometimes he would run around the town. But he would, sometimes he would trouble with a short piece of machete. But he would not attack anyone. So because he was an Israelite, he always carried a little sword. So I heard he is schizophrenic. So sometimes he would be walking and he'd take him. He would be running and drawing back. So while he was going to the post office running now, I heard that a young police woman, no no one about the town, so he's going on there about six years, seven years collecting pension. I'm the one who filed for the pension. So I heard that he running to the station. Master was in the run down one woman. Pull her gun, shoot him, and there was another policeman shoot him. So they tear up the wall of his liver, his heart. Three, they fire a stick shot off of him. But it is three shots that injured him. One almost in his heart, one in his, under his leg, to his bottom. And when he was begging surrender, telling them that he is no harm, it is pension, mercy. Yes, shoot him, kill him. So he died in Cornwall, Reginald. But you know in Jamaica, how we go? When they kill poor people, pitney, nothing will come out of here. No, 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 go so. No, 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 go so. No, no, go so. You know, yes. any, no, no, go so. You know, have anybody who witness it? Yes, man. And the, the people, the people. Yeah, no, no, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't say the people of Lucy. You know, have somebody who witness it and them give in the comma statement. I wasn't there, but when I came on this spot, Indicom was there. And, and... I give Indicom statement, but I cannot call the name. No, man, I don't, want, I don't want no name, you know. I don't want you calling any name. But you know, have persons who give Indicom the statements and tell Indicom what happened? Yes. Well, if Indicom 
investigate and find out there's something wrong in the comments gonna take action so it's not correct for you to say poor people people yeah. don't get justice that is not correct in the come is government to government so yep, yes yes but in the come is government to government but in the come if them find something say the police murder him they are gonna charge the police whether it's government oh. whether it's government to government or not okay sir that's how in the come work so as, oh. la as long as somebody witness what happened and give in the come the statement in the come is going to take action whether it's government to government the courthouse okay. the courthouse is government to government and a lot of policemen go to prison in a court so you cannot look at it that way okay so as long as somebody will witness what happened and yes, then sir. and then give the police give in the come them statement in the come yeah. is gonna take action yeah yeah man so it, yes it, it, so I was wanted to come on your news and voice my opinion. Your voice, your voice, uh, uh, you are voicing your opinion. No, you are gonna go on the news with it. You are, okay. yeah, man. And I'm, co I'm calling up on the human rights in England. Mm -hmm. I'm also calling on uh, uh, the Privy Council to interview the Jamaican Commission of Police because he is the great grandson of First John Watson of Scotland Dundee. The f first Queen Elizabeth had sent out John Watson, along with James Watson, as a missionary. He is also the great grandson of First Hannah from Persia, which is called Iran. He is also the grandson of Second Hannah, and he is also the great grandson of Edward Glaze from Palestine, the Gaza Strip, who came here to Jamaica. He is also the grandson of Luther Heath from Cuba. He is also the grandson of Uriah Augustus Levy from Manchester. He is also the grandson of, he is also the son of James Roy Levy from Trenchtown. And I want the people of Trenchtown, 2nd Street, and I want the Marley's family to know, and Rita Marley that Joshua Levy had died. He is also the grandson, he is also the sister of Anna Levy. I'm calling up on Buckingham Palace, Prince Charles, to investigate the police in Jamaica because the government turned on the police in every town. And they are not going to after anyone else. The only people you see they attack is mad people, mental health people, and taxi men. That is not true. You, that is not true. When you, yeah, when you talk to them, they are about to turn on their guns. And I know the police should not kill him. They should have taken him to a mental facility. I can get him. They did not call his name on the news because he's a Jew. He is from the tribe of Levi. It was no, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Auntie. I, I can't allow you to be saying things when I go saying it. You're say, you saying that they didn't call his name on the news. I call his name on my news. No, not you, the police. Not you. Police don't carry police. news. Police don't carry police news. Then state him as a madman. No, police don't carry news. Okay. Police don't have any radio station to carry news. But but let me find out something. I need to clarify something with you. Yes. Do you know which year Bob Marley died? No, no. You know that Bob Marley died from in the 80s? Yeah, but he was working with Stephanie Marley. Oh. Marley. Oh, you said he was working with Bob... No, no, because you said he was working with Bob Marley, so I was wondering. It's a mistake. He worked with Stephanie Marley at Music Manufacturer. That's oh. where I get into class him to kiss stuff in it. Oh. Our father is from Trenchtown. Our father and Rita Marley grew up together. Okay, okay, I He's understand. From, our father, James Levy, is from First Street and Rita is from Second Street. So that's where he was living there, but he came back home mad. So I was working for Bob Marley, daughter, Stephanie Marley and Ziggy Marley as a press operator at Music Manufacturer in the 80s. Oh, he was working. How old is he? 46, so that's where he got injured. He, uh, he went through an injury in, in the music. Hold on, 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 madam. You said he was working for them in the 80s? Yeah, I have the, the date, but it's time. No, he could, he could, if he's, if, he's, if he's in his 40s, he couldn't be working for them in the 80s. I'm not telling any lie that. No, 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 no. Miss, I'm not saying you're telling a lie, but you could I be. I think he's 96, 96. Okay, okay. Well. Okay, because you. That's how caused him to get an invalid pension that he would go and collect. Okay. It's through the NIS. Oh, I see. How long, how long, how long now he has been in. He, he, he came back to, 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 to Hanover? About 
Oh, in seven years I more. Oh. So all the older police know him. The older policemen, they protect him. But it's this jumpy girl and jumpy boy. I'm not lying and ungrateful to the police. The older policemen, them like him and they always protect him. Sometimes they say, Hannah, we see your brother, you know. He just gone out, come back, so you're, so, so you're saying that him always walk with him sword? Yeah, but he was a little piece of machine, not a tall machine. Uh, uh, but he called it a sword. You know what Jews have a sword? Yes. But yeah. he's no criminal. Yes. And the people they are mourning, a lot of people come into my house and never know that people love him so. Yeah, man, a lot of people a lot, a lot of people tell me about him, you know, and say he was a good yeah. person. No, no, no. A lot of yeah. a lot of people said that. But the thing is, the question is, what really yeah. happened on Monday? That is oh, the question. You know, he's a jumpy girl, man. He's a new girl, man. No, no, but Auntie, you are saying that, but the fact is he was running with the machete in his hand and the police saw him. So you yeah. are we are expecting what, what? I heard they said that he went down three police. No, and still no. Now they don't give the doctor. You see, when they took him to the hospital, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when they shoot him, I heard I wasn't there. Yes. I heard when they shoot him, and the people started to gather. They took him up, and they came to the hospital. When the people were co coming to make a video, yes. they don't want social media to capture it. So they call in the soldiers, so they could soldier while away the people and kill people. So while he went to the hospital, they just took him in to the doctor. Uh, not the doctor, and him over to the hospital staff, the nurse and the porter, and leave him. They didn't say it's police shoot him. It's when I went there and asked to see the doctor while the ambulance was about to leave with him. So the doctor told me, said, he will not make it to Montego Bay, but finally he made it to Montego Bay and went through the surgery. After the surgery, 11 o'clock, he died. And when the doctor asked me who shot him, he don't know who shot him to write the report to send him out. I said, doctor, they don't tell your team. He said, no. I said, it's police. They put him down, leave him. When he went to Montego Bay, I was over Montego Bay. I sat outside, me and my sister, Marie Levy. Because it was Percival Levy who read his time to the doctor in Lucy. Yes, ma'am. So when he was going to surgery, when the doctor, the head went through the surgery, Mr. David Hunter asked me, they don't get a report who shoot him. Oh. I said, it's police. And the police did not come to the family until now. None of them. And they don't send in a report as yet. To who? To send the report to who? The hospital. No, poli no the police wouldn't allow me to send a report to the hospital still. Me mean, tell them, see how they shoot him. No, man, the hospital, the, the hospital is aware that the police shoot him. I don't know, I don't know. Which doctor you talk to, but they, they, they would have told somebody. So I don't know if it's miscommunication at the hospital. But that is neither... The doctor did not get a report. And yeah, man, but died. what I'm saying is the fact that he was shot. Eh? Who he you? was a man, mad and I'm kissing a friend. He came washing, cooking, cleaning, live within one. Mm -hmm. But he lived in the village of two. He was building a house there, a wall. So I know them type of madman around town, dirty and mad. No, I depend on you now. I only go each month on a Monday. Yes. So me have the pension book here for college. It was for college on the 16th. Okay. And my brother carry it to me, get it and carry it to me. But you must, you must collect it, you must carry it to the NIS office and give them because the NIS... I'm here in a minute. Yeah, but you hear what I'm saying to you? You hear what, hear what I'm saying yes, to you? Yes, sir. Do not collect it. What you should do is yes. ca carry the book to the NIS office. Tell them, tell them that he was killed. He was killed, right? And yes, what the NIS what the NIS office is, is gonna do is put down because they are gonna give you some money to, to bury him. Okay. So if you you if you go and collect any money money out of it no. What I'm saying to you what checks. yeah, what I'm saying to you is yes, if sir. you go and collect any money out of it, no. They are gonna yes. draw it back out of the money that they are gonna that they, that the funeral grant that they are gonna give it to you. Because yeah. there is a funeral grant that they normally grant to persons who That's are about fifty thousand. I'm not sure how much is it, but you can ask. Yes, you can you can always ask them at the NIS office. They normally yes, they're gonna give you a funeral grant, but if you yes. go and you collect anything out of it, now they are gonna drive back out of it. So I would, oh. not, I would not advise you to collect it. No. Yeah. Seeing that, you, seeing that you're going to want money for, for bury him, yes. carry it to them Monday morning and make them know because they would have always say he was killed across the state. Yeah, right? man. They know him. And yeah. Me, yeah, man. Just so carry it over the NIS office Monday and tell them. Yes. And they are going to give you the documents what they are going to need for the funeral grant. Yes, sir. Are you going to sign it up and, and, and apply for the funeral grant? 
Yes, yeah. sir. But you really, you really, you really sad, though, Auntie. You really, you really sad. I mean, no trouble, people. You know, for me, no that, people. That's what I was told. That's what I was told. That's what I was people, told. People, people, somebody out buying funeral suit already found that and called me and put it up if me like it. Lord have mercy. I never knew. Mm. I never knew that he was so loved. So we are from Mount Peace and he lives in Kew. But yeah. he told me that he would die through the sickness that he had. Oh. But he said to me, when he die, he said, who going to kill your gun money? He said, no. He said, you would be killed by the state, the police. Because he said that is the reason why he live. Mm. So it is, we want to bury him and forget the body. Bury him on Good Friday. It, it's going to yeah, you're gonna get the body, but it's gonna take a time because the guy have to do a post mortem on him, and and yes, the, yeah, and the post mortem is not gonna be done for right now. Oh. So don't 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 set any funeral date yet. You can yes, go yes. and put your planning in place, but don't set yes. no funeral date yet until you know say the post mortem yes. is scheduled to be held on a certain date. Yes. Yes. And what I'm saying, sir, I am calling up on your new team. Yes. And all the Jewish people, Hebrews around the world. To mourn with me, and yes. I want them to inform that the great prophet Joshua Michael Levy, the Hebrew leader of Israel, had died. Yes, yes. So if you can get it reached to the BBC World News, you know. Then listen. Then listen. Then listen. To my channel, to man. Then I go hear you. you then I go hear you. This is history. This is history. Go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really. And it's, it's history. Did he have? Did he have any children? No, he was not married. And he doesn't have a wife. He did have one girlfriend at Trenchtown. Yes. But the girlfriend went on have a relationship with the policemen. Oh. So what were you asking? The policemen were threatening to shoot him and he leave the girl. What were you asking? he said that was only the girl. He was beat up already by police in Spanish town, you know. And yeah. his house was burned down. Out of mercy. Yeah. He went through a lot. But yes. he knew he was not going to live long. Because he said, my sister, I know I'm going to die. It's not one man going to kill me. Is the state police. Mm -hmm. So he prophesied his death. You're older than him? Yes. Okay. He was born the 15th of December, 1976. Yes. When Michael Manley won the election. So the people of Lucy, they rushed to the hospital and they named him Joshua. Yes. So yes. he's from the town of Lucy. He was born in Miller's Drive. Yes. Yes. Oh boy, I'm um, really, me really, me really sorry for hear about. Me really sorry for what yeah. happened because me hear, me hear so much good things about him. But at the end of the day, we, I yeah. was I, something happened Monday. Something happened. What caused yeah, things? With, with, yes. I'm yes. gonna pump the truth. The, the bank of camera. They said he went into the police station on the desk. I heard. Mm -hmm. They said run him down from out of the market. But there's a camera in front of the bank. And the station of a bank. They always kept the station locked up. And from yesterday, they open it. I went to the station. No, they not, they, no, no, they not always keep it locked up. The station normally open. They, they, they lock it. No, I can not pass through the town and saw the door in from yesterday. Has anyone in Lucy? No, I, 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 I've been there several times. 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 Auntie, 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 the station is normally locked during the night. By no, it's locked during the day, as I said, sir, ask anyone. It's just from yesterday, from the in this incident happened, they started to open it. I was surprised yesterday when I went around to the post office. It was open. Mm. And I'm not lying. I'm a great woman. I'm a prophet. I am not lying. I have been there with some land issue. When somebody was invaded on our property, the land. Yes. And when I go to the police and say, cut, I saw severe and the east state cut in the east state. Mm -hmm. So the police with me to inquire. It was one police in there. And yes. he said to me, say, lady, get out. And I said to him, say, do me a bit, just send a severe, make a question, send a police, make a question. And I will know, get out. And I saw him give free inside, free gun, and I run out. And I have to make the land stay. The same time I was trying to get in touch with you to, yeah. to call you to get the pretty severe that was cut in half land in the we, village here. Where? At Mount Peace? Yes. 
So, and then I went down the, yeah, because let me tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. From Mr. Cali leave the parish as a superintendent. Yes. The station is not under any proper government. Mm. There is no supervisor in this station. It's mm. for young people. So mm. when they're in there, they give it to them. Some of them don't have any money as a respect. It's just a few. Yes. So because they don't have, there was a good supervisor who always supervised the station, Mr. Simpson. But funny guy, the, sup- the station is young people control it. Mm. And they are not leaving a senior with them. So I used to have a lot of problem with people squatting on the estate cutting land. So I would have to go to them. And many times some of them treat me very bad, call me all mad woman, retire to your from your boat land. I went down to the soup, even the soup. She's a woman soup. She does not care about anything either. Tell mm. you the truth. So it is I have been going to the station from I was living in two. For almost twenty years we complain. And it is the first I have seen this station run down like that because I have incident where I was attacked and beaten up almost dead and it was policemen who rescued me life and took me to the doctor. But when the good policemen came there, they don't keep them. As they start to perform the right thing and show respect, they yes. move them from out of the station. So the station needs to supervise properly. Yes, yes. So yes. from Mr. Simpson dead, it is under no supervision. Mm-hmm. Tell me the truth, and I'm a, they are good policemen there, because they are policemen who I know protect my brother. Yes. And I will not lie. You mm-hmm. get me? Yes, 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 yes. But yes. the station need to have somebody who supervise these young trainee police. Because they are left on their own. And to our female in superintendent, in, you know, women can manage organization. Women only run for position, want every big position. But when they spend time chopping on their phone. But when we have man super superintendent, the work has to be done. But you know, it's, but, 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 but you know, is a man superintendent over now though? No? Yes. I don't meet him as yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can I pay taxes to the state for John Watson and Anna Watson in state? And when I go there, the tree, a long time I haven't been there. Can I say, Joe? Have me the go there and then the some of them. But sometimes there are good policemen who have this. <laughs> yes. But we have too much young police and we don't have a senior with them. Yes. And all them do, they're in the town. And when you see them, I remember passing the soldier a month ago. Early morning, I was going somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I walk on by the police area. And mm-hmm. you know the soldiers are the ones who protect our country and fight for the country. Yes. So I always like to show them respect. So it was a group of young soldiers. I had to pass them. So when I reach up to them, I said, good morning, soldiers. Good, how are you this morning? And I was surprised. None of them answer me. I, I leave them and go away. Mm-hmm. None of them answer me, but good morning. Yes, you yes. You get me? Yes, And yes. I suggested to a JP man, Mr. Mr. The JP, Justice of the Peace, Mr. No, my brother. Mm-hmm. And he's a man, big in town. And I said, Mr. I just passed the soldiers. And you know, they are the ones who protect us and protect our country. And I said, good morning. And they heard me and none of them answered me. Mm. Mr. said, that's how these young people are. Mm. You get me? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. I was just showing some respect. All right, man, we're going to have, have a break. We really condolences to you and your family. What, what happened to your brother? Because you, me, you me, me and you will talk, auntie, and just hold the faith. And remember, me tell you if you carry the book, go give them over the NIS yeah, office. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Thanks for educating me. Yeah. Thanks for your yeah. program. We have a program like this in Jamaica. All right, man. Because ma- if, if it wasn't you, we don't know all the people. <laughs> we have a problem with our marriage. All right, man. Take care of yourself. You all right. You need one to help us. All right, mother. Take care of yourself. <laughs> all right. And cool. you can send him for the photo to when he was young. Yes, man. Send it come. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend. About Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jamaica, criminal.
girls them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica I could have sunshine or rain Jamaica No problem no pain Good boy them no go can't hear But me want me country back Give me me country back To the street and the lane Everybody them start complaining Bloodshed what a shame what a shame But me want me country back Give me me country back Criminals, they're a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica oh.